hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog if you are new to my channel my name is candace i'm Riley sparks and i invite you to hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up on this video and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss when i upload a video <laughs> so as you guys can see i am on the move I am headed to Skinner's Park. I'm almost there on that stretch. And I wanted to start off this vlog. You know, I'm feeling in a kind of talkative mood. So why not whip out the camera and uh, talk to you guys? And I really need to talk to you guys because as you could see, the sun is going down. So I want to get all that I need to say out before I have no light. So I kind of just want to catch you guys up on... Uh, how long have I not put out a video? I know I put out a chain video, but before that, I think I was seeing something like 45 days since I last posted or something towards that effect. And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's just getting higher and higher. Any who's he? With that, y'all, oh, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like once I kind of get thrown off and I do upload, let's say two weeks pass, so we could no longer en enter from this side see it's blocked off there so i have to go all the way around but anyways what was i saying all these cars are passing and they are totally seeing me talking to myself <sighs> but that's okay right so once something kind of puts me off track and i see that some weeks are passing i'm not uploading i'm like why bother <laughs> and sometimes i feel like if i have nothing to upload as well which is not true but anyways that that i'm definitely trying to get back uploading at least once a week so what have i been doing for the past 45 days two months basically what have i been doing so i have been focusing a lot on my business you guys know <laughs> i'm a business owner Candice's fashion and beauty bits and I have really been focusing on that because I have some goals for that some things that I want to see happen with that so I'm really mm, working hard <laughs> hardish <laughs> to see those goals materialize come into reality so I had a Mother's Day sale from probably like mid-April to, to Mother's Day and that was really really well I think that was the most I've ever made in my business which was really awesome I was really busy with deliveries and everything like that so that was sweet so we're trying to double that but it has been going really well and I want to keep up that momentum with my business i've been focusing a lot on that and trying to you know show up for my business basically because if you mm, smell roti <laughs> that's curry smell good if you do not show up for your business then you would see a decrease in your sales and all of those things so even if I have to post something twice, three times, four times, five times. I'm going to post it because somebody in you might see it at that point in time. And you make a sale that you would not have made if you didn't post. So that's one thing. And that's something that I would always say to any business owner. Yes, you might be tired of posting that thing. But somebody new, even somebody that has seen that thing twice or three times, will finally decide that they want to pick it up. <sighs> so, post. <laughs> I have also been focusing, focusing or incorporating exercise into my lifestyle, really and truly. So from since the 15th of March, I started back exercising and I have been consistent for the most part exercising at least four to six times for the week i feel like 
and sometimes the days that I miss is just because I just couldn't squeeze it in just had things doing and I just couldn't squeeze it in and that's why sometimes I miss days but I have been pretty consistent with it I think probably there was about four days or five days that I went without exercising and that's in over two months so that's really good so I definitely see progress in my endurance progress in you know my fitness level your line reach your packet you know <laughs> in my fitness level overall so that's really good um you know the eating part that part is a little bit tricky -er for me um but i have been <laughs> i have been mindful of what i'm eating um, it may not be the best thing i'm mindful that i'm eating cadbury i'm mindful that i'm having two snacks i'm mindful of it now of course i would love to change that but i'm definitely not okay so you're reaching the car. so i am definitely not restricting myself at all there's nothing that is off limits what i'm doing is trying to you know space out meals better i have also been looking at a lot of youtube videos concerning i don't even know why <laughs> oh this lighting is nice oh sorry sir i don't really want you man i don't like to put people in my thing now concerning the omad lifestyle of eating omad stands for one meal a day and sorry if you're getting some breeze in the back right and the thought that motorcycle man pass and the thought of doing that is daunting to me let me see if i can block out some of the breeds it's really daunting to me um it frightens me <laughs> and it's a lifestyle that really and truly i don't want but it's interesting to see persons go on it nevertheless it's interesting to see persons um journey with that but that's definitely not for me um intermittent fasting i've been looking into that as well the only one that i could possibly see myself doing anytime soon the light, I don't know. Ooh, this one better <laughs> the only thing that i could possibly see myself doing is the what is it the 16 8 where you fast for 16 hours and you eat eight hours i feel like that is a big wow this one is so much better so we could stand up here and talk i feel like that is uh easier for me so i think that i would and i kind of have been trying it kind of kind of for the past couple of days y'all this breeze is ridiculous i'm sorry if you can't hear me well i hope you can though so so i would try to eat i'll try to really push off breakfast basically so probably eat around sometimes i go like 10 depending on how hungry i am it might be 11 o'clock that i have my first meal and i try to space out the meals and not eat too late at night but i'm not restrictive at all if i'm really hungry i do not like the idea of going to bed hungry like hungry like feeling like you're starved that's not for me that's not for me but you know so you girl trying on that front with the walking like what i'm doing right now i have also been doing a lot of youtube videos grow with joe so i'm thinking and some other good ones or ones that i enjoyed at least that i have found so i think what i'm going to do is the exercises that i do for the day i'm going to like link them on my instagram stories so you can check out those videos if you want to so essentially i would let you guys know if i liked the video <laughs> how far i got in a video and things to that effect um yeah so that's basically all 
what has been going on so today is saturday i'm sure i did not say that and it is in the evening of course the time is actually 6 25 and for the day i had let me see i had like less than 1500 steps so we are out for a walk from home to get to the park is actually close to 2,000 steps I would say about 2,000 steps so to come to the park to get back home that's 4,000 steps and I plan to make five laps it's brighter showing brighter on camera than what it actually is so I'm not sure if I'll be able to make the full five laps because one is Saturday evening and all I have really is like the little football clubs and they look to be finishing so once this place gets a little bit scanty with people I'm going to be leaving because yeah you just know about that vibe <laughs> yeah but anyways let me know in the comment section down below how you guys have been i am going to shout out adele in this video adele has messaged me a couple times maybe more than a couple times <laughs> you know to see how i've been doing and all of that so adele i appreciate okay we're getting better light and so not really. <laughs> Adal, I appreciate you, girl. Hey guys, what's up? So I visited Pennywise a couple of days ago and I wanted to show you guys what I got. Now it's not a lot of things. The last time I went to Pennywise, I got a good amount of stuff. So I basically needed to top up on some things that were running a little low. So I'm going to first get into the things that you all usually see. I probably just have about like six items, five items, five items. <laughs> all right, so I got my carefree uh, Acti Fresh it says regular liners, panty liners. I'll put the prices on the screen because I don't remember them. Once I have the bills still, I'll put them up on the screen. I also got some deodorant. This one is the spray version by the brand Dove. It says Go Fresh. And this is the apple and white tea scent. Y'all, I love this. So I got it in the stick form as well. Same apple and white tea. I love this scent. And I love to use Dove. I'm literally down to the last two products and I spent like $1.99 something so that's really interesting now the first thing that I got and these are two hair products of course this one by the brand ORS it's their olive oil max moisture super moisturizing daily styling lotion and this is the one that is infused with rice water and electrolytes for supercharged hydration and growth i'm excited to try this i haven't tried it as yet this was about 60 dollars. i do remember that <laughs> um i tried this line already i am currently using the deep conditioner it's actually almost done i think i did a review on it not probably if i did i'll link it in the description box down below but i'm excited to try this because i absolutely love the deep conditioner so I'm really excited to try this. One thing that I wanted to pick up that I completely forgot that I wanted because I went into Pennywise with no list is that I wanted to get a sulfate free shampoo. And when I was going up to the Kasha, they actually had like a poster with this whole line and in the line had a sulfate free shampoo. So I think next time I go to Pennywise, I'll either get that one or just browse the shampoo lane and see what other sulfate free shampoos they have. I have been using, y'all I can't remember, but I'll show it somewhere here. I have been using that kind of cheap shampoo, oh gosh, it's either suave or, you know, one of those kinds. And um, it has been drying out my hair a lot. I feel like after I wash my hair, it's completely dried. Um, so I actually washed my hair today and I used that one and I finished it off with a head and shoulders wash because my scalp is really acting up. 
and my hair felt so much better after using that head and shoulders so i really want to get a sulfate free shampoo as well because i am exercising a little bit more often um i want to wash my hair a little more often i don't want to use something harsh in my hair all the time so a sulfate free shampoo i won't get that drying out effect but my hair will be clean for the most part <laughs> for the most part because my hair kind of but for the most part it will be clean so i really need to look into uh sulfate free shampoo i know i don't want a co-wash that 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 wouldn't do it for me and the next thing that I have that I'm really excited to try, so my deep conditioner, as I said before, it's all, did I say before? I'm not sure. But it is almost out, and it's the one by the brand ORS. So, you know, I'm looking around the deep conditioner section, and there are not much options, not much options that I haven't tried before. And I always want to get something new to try. So, I saw this. And I'm really excited to try it. It's by the brand Shade Naturals. It said it says the Caribbean made. I think this is made in Trinidad. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, made in the Caribbean, twin island of Trinidad and Tobago. Shade Cosmetics, Diego Martin. So I'm really excited to try this. It has coconut, avocado, and mango in it. I didn't even smell it. It says repair and strengthen know this that that the other of course i will do a first impressions or review on this i'm really excited i can't remember the price but i don't think it was too out there you know so this is what it looks like what i'm getting i just got like a grease scent that was my initial send there that i picked up i'm not really going to get into it now i want to do a uh, dedicated video on this but i'm excited to try this if you have tried any of the products the hair products that i have shown let me know how you like it in the comment section down below i'm looking to wrap up this video guys so i hope that you enjoyed if you did give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already i'll see you guys in my next one until next time take care guys bye